FAFSA stands for the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, which is used to determine your financial aid eligibility. Thanks to the FAFSA Simplification Act, your 2024-2025 FAFSA process will be easier to follow with fewer questions. Completing the FAFSA is free. Remember, you will not be asked to pay. Here are some key changes to the 24-25 FAFSA. Before completing, you and your contributor will need to have your own individual accounts at studentaid.gov. The contributor is someone who is going to contribute information to the FAFSA. This would be you, your parents, your parents' spouse, or your spouse if you are married. Each of you must create a FAFSA ID with username and password that will be used as your electronic signature on the FAFSA. You and your contributor must provide consent and approval for the transfer of federal tax information. It's important to create your FAFSA ID as soon as possible. It may take up to 24 hours to activate your account and, once activated, you can complete the FAFSA application. Good news! The FAFSA has been streamlined and is more user-friendly. The amount of questions on the FAFSA has been reduced by more than half and available in more languages. Applicants will no longer have to manually enter income information as income data will automatically be pulled from the IRS using the IRS Direct Data Exchange. There's more good news. Eligibility has expanded to more students and you may now qualify for additional federal Pell Grant funds. If you've completed a FAFSA before, you'll notice that there are some new terms. For example, the expected family contribution is now replaced with the Student Aid Index. The Student Aid Index is calculated by FAFSA data and determines student aid eligibility. Another significant change is that for divorced or separated parents, the parent who provided the most financial support to the student will need to provide their information. Previously, the parent who the student lived with the most provided their information. After your FAFSA form is submitted and processed, you will receive an email with instructions on how to access an online copy of your FAFSA submission summary. This summary replaces the student aid report for the 2024-2025 award year. The FAFSA submission summary has been designed to highlight your eligibility for federal student aid. At Triton College, we take pride in offering an affordable education. While Triton's tuition costs are less than those of most major higher eds, individuals on a tight budget may still require assistance. Your completed FAFSA will be used by Triton College to put together your federal student aid package. Visit Triton's financial aid office or triton.edu slash finaid today. We're here to help you.